Hi folks, so many of you asked how I created this hadn't written underline effect on the landing page of ship.club. So let me show you the exact process I've used to generate this effect. So first of all, we need um, software to create vector images. My favorite tool is Scalidraw. So you can select the, the pencil tool, select the stroke width, the, the smallest one. Now you need to be a little bit creative. So let's see this effect. Okay, it's not too curly. Let's try to reproduce it. Okay, not perfect. Let's try again. Hmm. Okay, let's do another thing. So I make a screenshot of the text. I paste it here. Let's make it bigger. All right, so at least we have a reference. Let's try again. Maybe on this sentence. Oh, it doesn't look too bad. Now let's try again. Okay, this looks pretty good. Now I copy it and I like to paste it into Figma. The reason is that we need to paste the SVG, copy to clipboard as SVG, of this uh, shape into our code. Let me show you what happens when I do this from Excalidro. So I move to my code editor, Visual Studio Code, and here I'm using React. So it's very simple to create a component, new underline, it just returns SVG. Okay, so this is the result. As you can see, mm, it's not very good. It's not compact. There are references to font family and other stuff. It's, it's, not, it's not perfect. So let me try to use another way. I like to use Figma. I just paste into Figma what I copied from Excalidraw. So you can see that there is a um, background that we don't want to use, actually. I want this part, so the vector part. So just right click, copy, copy as SVG. I move to the editor again. Let me delete this SVG. Definition, okay. And I paste the SVG markup generated by Figma. As you can see, it's much, much better. So you can see there is this attribute fill with the hexadecimal um, value for the color. So we can manually update this here, or we can use just Figma and use a more handy color picker and say, okay, we want to use this color. I copied it again and paste it into the code editor. Okay. Now what I want to do is to use this component to show the shape into the, the web page. So let me go back to the web page. And here I use a very simple technique. So let me resize the, the page. As you can see, the font size decreases, but the shape is still perfectly in place and resizes as well. So this effect is generated with a uh, very simple implementation. So if I inspect this part, you can see that there is an H2 headline that contains some text, but for the underlying part, it is encapsulated into a span element that contains a div that contains our SVG. The reason is that this span has position relative. This div is positioned um, with absolute and this absolute position div contains the SVG. Okay, I hope it's clear. So the span has position relative, the div inside has position absolute with left zero and a negative bottom actually to move it up a little bit. So if I change this to zero, you see it's too close. I want to have some margin. So minus five pixels is perfect. All right, let me go back to the code, new underline. Okay, so this is the markup I used. I love using Chakra UI, but basically this text is a div element rendered as an H2. As you can see, um, there is a box inside, rendered as a span with position relative. Inside there is a, this flex component, which is again, it's just a div uh, with position absolute, left zero, 
and bottom minus five. So you can get rid of these responsive values. All right. So instead of the previous underline, let me use the new underline component that I just created. If I move to the code, all right, you can see that the new shape is used. Okay, instead of minus five, we can use more spacing. All right. Okay, and here we go. This is how I created this effect. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. See you, bye.